Rugby is one of the most vibrant contact sports out there. There are about 9.1 million people play the game on a regular basis. So we need to make sure that they are safe, play the game, to become the next World Rugby Stars. About 20% of all injuries in professional rugby games are concussion or concussion related. When you go into training, you're talking about 38% of all head injuries. Concussion is one of those things that is unseen in so many ways. And therefore, we need something that can make the unseen visible. I got involved in this initially because I was working in the innovation team at SAP and there was a project being started at the time called IRM which stood for Injury Risk Monitor and I made the suggestion that you could really exploit the capabilities of the SAP harness system for human data if you were going to be monitoring more chronic injuries. The beauty of it was you could put a whole lot of unstructured background data about an athlete into the SAP system and use that like you would um, a commercial system it was just finding the right application to make this work. The system we have called Protect starts with a custom fit mouth guard for every player. It contains a number of sensors in here that measure the linear and the rotational acceleration of the head. This is really tightly coupled to the player's teeth. So every time their head exceeds 10G, it will send a signal, so for the next 100 milliseconds to us on the sideline. We had to develop a proximity sensor to put inside the mouth guard. That lets us know whether or not the mouth guard is actually in the player's mouth and lets us tell whether an impact is real or not. So they're actually starting to see exactly what the size of the impacts are. What that means is that they can now look not just at the specific impact, but a history of impacts over that game. It's a huge step forward in terms of the accuracy of feedback to the individuals, player welfare, longevity of career. I think it's a big thing for the future of rugby. I know eventually growing out to grassroots rugby as well, you know. The young boys and girls playing rugby uh, with parents on the side and worried about the impacts they're having, you know, that instant feedback for them to address that and, and hopefully a better understanding from a grounder. We're looking at a very, very exciting future with this. I mean, already now we've got studies going on with British American football, with women's rugby, with women's field hockey, with women's ice hockey. And the reality is that this is about player welfare. So this is about doing things for people and using the technology to make that better.